Hello, we're going to quickly explain QSheet's uh, new functionality in the latest version of Nextcast. Um, QSheets are a standardized uh, text file format that allows you to pair song titles with, uh, for instance, 30 minute, one hour program. So if a program has multiple songs in it, a cue sheet will define the times that those songs start and what songs they are so that when um, Nextcast plays them out, it will send out the proper metadata uh, when the songs change. So I'm going to quickly show you how you would do this. I have my one hour segment here. I'm basically going to preview the song and then I'm going to just use my cursor here to left click and jump to the first song start. And then when I want to mark it, I just right click. And so at 22 seconds and 87, um, that's my first marker. And then I'm going to continue and uh, find the next starting point and then right click and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go through the entire one hour program or a 30 minute program and mark all the sections where the next song starts. Once I've done that, I'm actually going to hit update. I'm going to stop the preview. I'm going to hit update. Um, and it'll give me a message the cue sheet was saved. So now I have a saved cue sheet, but I don't have any metadata imported. Well, uh, to make things a little bit easier, um, what I did is you can actually copy. So if, if the host sends you a detailed list of the tracks that he played in that 30 minute segment or hour segment, whichever it is, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this first one and I'm gonna hit copy. And then I'm going to scroll to the first uh, entry point here and I'm going to double click. And because it was in my clipboard, um, it automatically filed, uh, filled in the title and artist. I'm going to save that. And so I'm going to go to the next one, do the same thing, copy, double click. I have it there. Let's go to the next one. I'll just do a few more so you kind of get the idea here. So I copy. Um, and then you see um, it automatically um, fills in the artist and title. Now you can also manually uh, type this in. So I can manually, if, if I need to, use the tab and enter that in. Uh, once I've done that, again, I want to update tag data and it'll give me a cue sheet saved. So then a double click, um, then there you go. There's my information. I didn't complete it, but this is a quick tutorial video. Okay, so now that I've uh, created my cue sheet, um, what I'm going to do is create a playlist to play back the show. And I actually already created one. So I have my little drop before the show. And then I show my, um, my 30 minute or 24 minute show. So I'm actually just going to go here and play this rotation mode. Now you can schedule this. So if you go in the schedule, um, I can schedule this to play at 1 a.m. Uh, and as long as the scheduled is enabled, it will play it. But uh, for this illustration, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the um, show. And so you'll notice here, we're going to get to the 22 second spot here and it will send out the first track. So I'm going to fast forward this. There it goes. So then you'll, you'll see as we fast forward through it, it's going to go to each of the songs when it gets to that position, which ensures that uh, Nextcast is sending out the proper metadata for title and artist recording for royalties or for any other reason. So there you have it, uh, the cue sheet feature in the latest version of Nextcast.